Welcome back to part two of my Stanky Let's Play of Total War Warhammer 3. We continue where we left things off last time, battling it out for the Moon Shard because what it looks like decisive victory, low casualties. The Order Resolve is going to kill off the thing in the woods and the cave bats. Not going to lie, don't really care about losing the cave bats, but losing the things in the woods, which I can't replace right now, would be quite the loss. So I don't want to lose them. So we will dive on and fight it. We also get to use some new spells that we just got for Stankier as well. So in we go. Hope you guys enjoyed part one that got uploaded on YouTube yesterday. Right. Here we are. Start deployment. The new spells that we have are uh, Vengeance of Spirits. Well, didn't we also... Wasn't that tied into something else? Or is it a passive that fires? How does that work? I thought there was a passive part of it. Or is that just on the overcast or something? That gave us more spell mastery. Because yeah, or, or is it or is it yeah, is it like a permanent hex thing that we're just constantly taking damage? I thought it was something to do with increasing our spell mastery at the cost of health. Just taking constant damage. I don't know. Still figuring out. Old Stankia. Um, right, what are these Dark Elves got? Got the Bleak Swords, Dark Shards, which are nasty, and the Dark Riders. Spooders, go over here, try and flank on up their position. I think, if anything, actually, yeah, I'm going to deploy down here, try and pull them off their high ground. I'm actually going to try and I can't heal the things in the woods, but I can heal Cuddles, our incarnate. I am no don't want to lose Cuddles. I think we've got to be a little bit careful, actually, about not losing some troops here. We can heal up the the catos as well. The cowards amongst you tremble. Yet an old woman stands here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, that's cool. Look, so it has an overcast, which turns it into a different spell. Ooh. So, yeah, you can cast that. And it gives plus 40% spell mastery. But you start taking damage per second. That costs eight, and then you could whip out a vengeance of spirits for even more damage. All of her spells do that. I was gonna say, so Witch Brew does that, and then you upgrade Witch Brew. Oh, and it becomes Witch Broth. Oh, and it's a heat. Oh, I was trying to work it out last episode. That's a healing wind. Oh, that's really cool. I was I was thinking initially, I was like, I feel like she doesn't have that many spells. But if they're all kind of like dual purpose ones, that's pretty cool. Alright, let's go forward a smidge. To there. Send the spooders up that way. Well, today I learnt. Dual spells. She's off. Yeah, I want to see this Vengeance of Spirits in action. It silences as well, so you can stop enemy spellcasters, which is pretty cool. Though you're not a spellcaster, but still. They've only got the one missile unit of Dark Shards. Let's see if we can go harass them with Ostankius Cauldron. Because what's her range? 120. Okay, it's not as far as I thought it was, actually. 
I think it's like it's uh, deceptive because you think with the full 360, you're like, oh, yeah, that's, that's quite a long range. Uh, not so much compared to the other ones. I don't know. This Apparently, this is useful or rather effective. Strong against combatants, strong versus 25 men or above. What if it hits multiple units? Don't really know, but let's find out. Like final transmutation. I'm assuming it's good against a single enemy combatant. But when it picks off multiple and it's split between all of them. So then it's like less effective. Go, go, go. That's nice. Yeah, we just want to do all the damage we possibly can. To the dark shards and then get out of there pull the bats around does the thing in the woods have the attribute causes terror um thing in the woods they have causes fear puddles has terror yeah What are her defensive stats like? Yeah, not good. <laughs> That's it. Slow everybody down. Long enough. For my archers just to snipe them all to bits. Then get back into line. Cuddles just wants to give you a big old hug. forward. Spiders, in you go. Uh, damage. Not great. Not terrible. settlement so we can just end it now let's see this one which is the witch broth 
which heals them. That's quite nice. Fire more from the pot. What have you got there? A mushroom. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it's a it's a it's a vegan brew. There we go. That's all good. Blasted into bits. Still alive? Yeah. Into death. The snows guide me. For more for Kislev. Without question. Okay, Ostanki is not Baba Yaga, apparently, because they're moving away from that law. But I feel like she should have a loyal. Um, either melee hero companion or another lord should be called John Wick. How much health do you have? I mean, the spell won't do the damage, but still. Just out for an evening stroll. And oh no. It's Mother Ostankia with her cauldron of doom. Oh, now he's in bits. He just got John wicked. No, no, re no rematch. End battle. <laughs> Do you think Osank is growing into one of your favorite lords? I, yes, I think she's a lot of fun. I know there's still some people that probably aren't ha like super happy with her start position in Immortal Empires. I kind of just like that she's in a different place and that you're going to be fighting with Kislev units against like a lot of different varied enemies than you would normally do playing as any of the other Kislev lords. I don't know. How do you guys feel, feel about her start? Because I know that was kind of a kind of a Marmite moment when Shadows of Change first released. You either kind of loved it or you hated it. Right. Thank you for the decisive victory. We are going to occupy. Now, what we need to try and do is draw out that army again, which maybe they'll go for the forest, to be fair. And I'll have to then break them there. Um, It would probably make... Oh, we actually get... Yeah, we actually get more veterancy recruiting fresh troops. So, I... And we get these guys from the... Yeah, we can recruit them from the main line. That's, that's really good for the Kislevite warriors. Are Cossars with with spears still a thing, or did they just get rid of them? Oh no, there they are. Cossars with spears right through the back the Cossar hut. Right, okay. Um, yeah, let's. Um, how many we can, can we get? Two. Or fight. Merge. Heed my hexes. Merge. Just an old woman. Just an old room. From chaos. Who calls? It's me. Bob. The lens protect. Uh, Moonshard. Yeah, let's get you upgraded because they're probably going to attack Forest of Arnheim. Don't know how long it's going to be before Marathi decides to get in on the action. Although she's a bit of a hag herself. So, like, so if, if Ostankia, Marathi, and Helebron all got together. Hags on tour. Hags Hendu. It's going to be messy no matter what happens. That is guaranteed. Flotilla of the Damned. Flotilla of the Damned. 
do, 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 do. Oh, I wanted fighting shadows. Yes, please. That's what I want. Nice, nice, nice. A stankia. So if we upgrade that. Yeah, so you get the blessings. But I like that. So you've, it's all about your curses and... and Curses and blessings. That that's really cool, actually. Then that having it built into one, so it's like dynamic like that. Wouldn't be surprised if they actually overhauled some other spells into that, so you've got more room on the spell casting dial. Um. Oh, forest purity, corruption. I don't need to do that one to get to that one, do I? No. Oddlings is pretty good. I'm not too fussed by that. So. Curse of the Ancient Witch. That's Missile Block Chance Reduced and Armor Greatly Reduced. And will spread to enemies within the spread range. Forbidden Fens we've already got, right? Oh, that gives you Whispers in the Wood. Which increases speed for units. Ah, okay. Uh, what was the one? Was it the Cursed Cauldron? And then you get the Blessed Cauldron. Oh, that's so the the... Blessed Cauldron is a bombardment that doesn't hurt friendly troops. The Cursed Cauldron, is it like much more powerful? Strong versus a single unit, good against armor. Same thing. Is it, oh, it costs way more. So, I guess, yeah, use the Cursed one if you don't have friendly units in there. If you do have friendly units, same thing, but you don't risk hurting your own troops. Smart. That's the one, Malediction of Madness, I think. The one that is it spread the damage across, or am I? Is it Vengeance of Spirits that upgrades? Well, there was one that spread. Aside from Curse of the Ancient Witch. What's the rest of it? That's fine. Uh, let's go for Curse of the Ancient Witch anyway. It's all good. Oh, there's reset all skill points anyway, aren't there? We don't need the one one button respect mod anymore, do we? Not that we've got it enabled for this, but I was just thinking I might have to turn that on at some point if we get Confederation, but see, it added it in themselves. Character gets wounded for three turns, though. But, yeah, finally. Three games later, it's in. The power of a witch is in her charms. Speaking of which, let's make some more hexes. Nice. And end the turn. Oh, yeah. You're off a wandering. Ambush is discovered. Foreign trespasser discovered. It's the same thing. Fighting shadows. How many? How many have we spent now? Thirty-five. Oh, okay. I keep thinking I'm spending a lot more when I'm not. I thought, yeah. Does that not? Does that not count then? Power consumed. Is it only when I'm doing the witch's hut stuff? Guess so. Let's do some more. Have some more curses. It's forty. Yeah, if they attack me, that won't be fun. Um, I have probably got to move here. And go into ambush and see if that's enough to lure them all in. Because otherwise... Going for Arnheim right now. I mean, maybe they'll sally out to me. We could just siege it down. That might be worth... Worth doing. It's a lot of dark shards, though. That ain't fun either. That's a lot of cavalry. I think we'll try and see if we can lure them out in ambush first. Uh, what do we want now? Frost maidens, hooked axe blades. Uh, no point going for that just yet. We don't really have too many of those. Weapons like things in the woods. Control. Recruit rank for Kislev units. Convalescence. Growth and replenishment. Yeah, that wouldn't be terrible. More growth. Let's get that. 
Such strange Can we have a units. Tim in the woods? <laughs> that would be pretty good. Just an right, in the tent. They speak to me. Oh, I keep checking in on you, but you're fine. You're actually set. Sailing quite nicely off. To visit a witch. You're going to want peace, aren't you? <laughs> no. I have the sight. That's good. Good for you. Factions encounter. Let's see if anyone wants to trade with me. Yeah, you're just continuing to build up that. Where are you? Where are you guys going? Are you guys going after? Are oh, you going after the Skaven? Um, champion of the lady. Champion of the lady. To Britonia, stranger. Can I do that again? Pull down upon activation. Yeah, I just need more spirit essence, though. No, 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 no. I guess they're going to build up a large enough force that they know they can strike with. I'd, I'd love to start upgrading that, but I imagine I'll in, they'll go for it. And I'll lose it. I mean, what else am I spending the money on right now? I mean, I'd just be saving it. Um, let's start doing it, because maybe that will spur them out. I'm just thinking, is there a better spot I could put Ostankia in? But no, it's... I've got to choose between the Moonshard and the Forest. My thought is I probably want them going up that way if they're not going to come towards us. For the Moonshard. That also has wood in it, does it? A lot of wood. A lot of wood. Although, income from farms plus 2% faction wide. That ain't shabby. You get a lot of farms. Yeah, you're saying that. Let's get through some turns. Are they going to ask for peace? Or are they going to attack? Or are they going to sit there and recruit? I'm voting for sitting there and recruiting. Oh, they've kicked a lord out. But they've got the other army in there. Builder Tor's gone. Grow your forces. Recruit 30 new units. Alright. See, I could attack you and draw them all out, but that is... That's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot to pull on Oot. No, were you not in ambush? Was my ambush spotted? Yes. Who calls? It's going to be a big battle again, isn't it? Never. Those Dark Rider Reaper repeater crossbows scare me a fair bit as well. I can't do much, though. There's not really any other troops I can get right now. Yeah, skip. I'll stank here. It's playing a waiting game. Are the Dreadfleet invading Ultuan? Probably. Yes, they are. That's what they did before, actually. And they, I ended up at war with them and then tried going after them. And it did not go well for me. Okay, so Marathi is expanding. What? Which ain't good. Of my cauldron, it is easy to discover. You simply need crawl inside. <laughs> We're gonna say, like the seeker of the cauldron, like have a look inside. <laughs> Way got the ambush. Close victory, low casualties. Now so this definitely seems like one of those occasions where I will do much worse if I fight this myself. 
because of all those Dark Rider repeated crossbows. I'm not going to lose anyone to the Order Resolve. I could save my curses. I mean, the game giveth and the game taketh away. I'm going to taketh this Order Resolve from it. Probably is slam dunking it because it's a lot of cavalry and I've got a lot of anti-large. So... Take it. Thank you. That wipes their army as well. Um, Probably don't need the cash. No. 5% replenishment isn't much. But we can then go start sieging their settlement. See if that draws them, draws them out. So we want as much strength as possible. So take that. They've moved that other force in. I'm going to go start sieging it down. Like a Hansel and Gretel reference with the... Uh, Pop inside the cauldron. Possibly. Oh, what? Oh, right. Yeah. Got to click that first. Regiment Renown unlocked. The Wolf Hearts. Nice. Cauldron of Power. Occupy, loot, raise, or sack three different settlements. Nice. Following you to see bonuses. Oh, uh, yeah. What else do they have? They've got Death Magic. Hag. And shadow. Ooh, shadows. Pit of shades. <laughs> shades. Now I can attack. Um, I could probably get rid of you guys. Or I'm thinking maybe get rid of the bats. But they'd be useful going over the walls if we really need to. So merge you guys. Then say bye bye to that one. And pop in the wolf hearts. Magic is not the only way. That needs level 12. Face of the interlopers and the forbidden fens. Oh, wait, hang on. We had wildlings, didn't we? Go for that because that's physical resistance. And then fate of interlopers. Help is always appreciated. And attack. See? It's Pyrrhic victory, losing loads of units. And I'm just going to continue. So how many turns is it? Ten turns. Ugh. I'm hoping they'll sally out against me. Otherwise, I guess we'll have to go in and try and snipe away at them. What's the map like? Didn't they nerf Pit of Shades? Oh, Don't ruin Pit of Shades for me. <laughs> All right, yeah, we'll stay sieging for a bit. I can now cast that, which should help, but I also want to get more of those, which I can do just about. Do I need to, though? No, but if I consume that, it will get us towards... Which one? That one? Power consumed? A bit quicker? Can I do it? I can only do it on my own settlements, can't I? Do not disappoint us, mm -hmm. That's now 65, though, so yeah, it still took Kill that up. That's fine. Kislev. Skip that. Building upgrade available, moon shard. Uh, I could go for that, but I feel like we should probably get the walls in. Or well, the extra garrison, at least. Because it's on the coastline. Alright, let's get you over. You'll be there soon. To the motherland. Okay. And the turn again. Sally out against me, I dares you. Oh, technology 
researched. Sweet. A hero becomes a legend. Oh, that's the... Oh, I thought that was... Anyone know what the prerequisite is to get the Golden Knight started? I thought it might be this. A hero becomes a legend. Win 10 battles with any single hero character. Most battles can't won by a single hero. Any single hero character. So... Mm. Need a frost maiden then, don't I? So for that, probably what ice sculpting. Let's go through that then. And let's make another curse. Still. Oh, the all resolve is now. Not killing off any of my troops, but I feel like we should probably fight a siege. Can I pop that on the spell cast, or will they just be rampaging out of control the whole battle? A rampaging unit is uncontrollable and will attack the nearest enemy unit. When there's no enemy units nearby, a rampaging unit will move around randomly instead. That seems really, really strong. Let's do it. Here we go. Let's take Arnheim. Hopefully all the Dark Shards should be out of control now. That seems incredibly powerful with the Rampage rework. That they're just permanently out of control. I mean, normally most units have to trigger Rampage, right? But it's our curses that just get to trigger it, right? Uh, Golden Knight quest starts at level 12. Okay, thank you very much. And you have to kill 1,500 enemies. Okay. Mother Ostankia certainly curses a lot. She's a bit of a potty mouth, yeah. Or a cauldron mouth, they might say. I mean, some, something's probably pooed in her cauldron, to be fair. Don't, don't go in her cauldron. It's not very nice in there. You're going to catch something. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba, start deployment. Where do I want to go? I'm going to put my bats over here and flippity flat fly them over. I'm going to put my spooders up here just to try and draw some of their troops to start up here. And then I'm going to go hit that gatehouse hard with you guys. Keep you guys there and move them to that patch of wall where there isn't anyone. We'll send you creatures in there. Bossars! You guys can go over here. You guys can go there. That's good to me. Let's have a look at the new regiment renowned ambushers. Oh, so they've, they've got polar bears. How many bears died to recruit these? <laughs> Got like a bear farm somewhere? We will make Mother Gizlet. Right, so they're all out of control, Dark Shards. That's great at neutralizing units. Love that. In store for those who oppose me. Take heart. For today, I am on your side. Oh, their lords come straight outside as well.
Hit him with everything you got. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, straight through there. Thank you. Drop my cauldron. Beautiful. Pop a load of healing going on. Great. That's stunning. Big, 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 big fan of the curses. Is their lord already dead? She did just rampage straight out the gate right at the start. That's really useful about neutralizing some like key key enemy units. Yeah, that's great. I guess you guys stuck at the gate. Off you go. Go capture that one. She's through. I'm going to capture the gate in a minute. They're all breaking. How many bats doing? They're chilling. There we go. Get my ambushes inside because they'll help turn the tide. A nice little heal. And which brute? Comfortably. Yeah, they're, they're all literally on the cusp of breaking it. There we go. 
Job done. So from Pyrrhic victory to decisive with 106 losses. I think it was medium casualties was the prediction. Not bad. I missed this game. Yeah, I have actually. It's nice to kind of come back to it. And I'm glad that I left Ostankia still to play from Shadows of Change. So still kind of some brand new content to experience right now. Hopefully this will be enough to kind of tide us over until Thrones of Decay. Uh, which is what April I think is when they said they're aiming for. Unless they have to of delay it again. It's good to be back. I just hope they continue to make the game better. I'm um, just going to occupy that. I mean, I kind of hope Thrones of Decay is like mid April because <laughs> if it comes in May most likely I'll be playing it a little bit later than the rest of you all because uh cup art number two will be here on well he's he's scheduled for a, a ninth of a ninth of melee a ninth of May release date uh but he might he might come early or late he might be a cup art of delay we don't know <laughs> Okay, they've been broken. Beautiful. Happy days. Right. We are going to go, yeah, Forbidden Fens. Arnheim upgrade. You got anything unique in there? No, you got your harbour. That about it. Uh, we can do a commandment. What have we got? Power of the church. Corruption reduction. Hero. Recruit rank plus two. Recruitment cost plus minus 25. Recruitment cost capacity. Income from all buildings. Control. We do actually need more control, don't we? Well, there's only conquest for the next turn. Probably still wouldn't hurt to have a bit more to get the public order sorted in it. Okay, and then we've got to move this character a little bit further to find our Kisler brethren. Which will be next turn. There we go. Right, first threat eliminated. I'm assuming now we probably want to try and take out Marathi. King Lewis, you tread upon. I don't know why I'm doing that. I should do. I keep forgetting this quick Your deal, design. isn't there? What? Well. Do non-aggression. Who calls? Oh, how do we find? Oh, Osland over there. Surely. On oh, come on, come on. With a sheathed blade. Well, surely you prefer me to come here with a with a sheathed blade than a a drawn blade. Um, we could do that for some gold, but actually, I'm just gonna give you the non-aggression. For the extra diplomatic gain. Right. So that hopefully in, in a few turns time. You actually do want to trade with me. That'd be nice. Dratla Coven. I'm making no promises. I might regret that. You're keeping the Heralds of Ariel busy. Although. ah, uh, They are now. When do we fight? Only here. When necessary. And I wouldn't mind their Witchwood. But I feel like I've got to deal with Marathi first. Before I have a very powerful Wood Elf foe to my north. So they've come to beg for mercy, Nestra. Foul. <laughs> Powerful. All right. All right. Greetings on behalf of the Empire. Now, what brings you here with a sheath blade? Fine. All right. Glad you, you're quite Fearless. aggressive tradesman. The Empire speak. Dark sorcery. That's fine. Right, leave it all that. Right, I think I'm ready to end the term. But for those watching on YouTube, that'll be the end of another episode. Until the next one, I hope you've enjoyed. Take care and ciao for now.